property for Thursday's event. It was organized by Pisa Page, Dominic Hill, and Brenda Sanya, not Park. If you were here, the event was truly amazing. We stand in solidarity with them. Move to the microphone. 
of American culture and by extension the social, legal, and political life of America. We are not blind to race even if we try to be. And we cannot afford to be blind to the effects of systemic racism which continues to advantage white people over people of color. Racism propagates in our police force. It propagates in our prison system. It propagates through our political leaders, whom we choose. It propagates through our education system, and it is propagated by segregated neighborhoods and communities like Hamilton. America remains a segregated country with vastly different outcomes based on the color of your skin. The proliferation of racial inequality is not unique to America. My home country, South Africa, which is the very symbol of racism in the 20th century, continues to be divided by race, with black South Africans struggling relative to white South Africans, despite the fact that white South Africans have less than 10% of the population. Black South Africans continue to have worse education, health, and work outcomes. This is the end result of hundreds of years of cultural and institutional work that served to undermine and destroy the lives of people of color. The same is true of America. So we cannot afford to be blind to race. Instead, we need to look it honestly in the eye so we can understand its persistence, its contagious nature. And like our response to COVID-19, which also disproportionately impacts black communities, we need to act in a profound way to halt its spread, even if it requires making significant sacrifices. The first step is recognizing and understanding the reality of white privilege, which based on my own experience requires discomfort and dissonance. It is easy to become defensive when we are implicated in the problem of racism because that challenges our sense of ourselves as good people, which we are. Being infected with COVID-19 doesn't mean you are a bad person. But if we understand that COVID-19 itself is dangerous, and we have to act decisively to contain its spread and to protect those we love, we should do the same with racism. And there are numerous things that we can do. We can educate ourselves, we can get involved in and support anti-racism organizations, we can fight for police and prison reform, we can support better political candidates, preferably those who are black and or women, we can support black creators, black owned businesses, black colleagues, we can fight for public schools and for more equitable school funding. We can diversify our neighborhoods, our workplaces, and friendships. We can speak with our money. We have power. Let us use it creatively and compassionately to empower black and brown communities. I can suffer from 
from a mental illness without being shot and killed. Ascari Scott, Brandon Jones, Anthony Hill, Bernard Moore, Tony Robinson, Laval Hall, Michelle Shirley, and Zell Ford. I know I have my privilege because I can drive without being assaulted and murdered. Ahmed Arbery. being run down by a police car. Bernard Moore. I know I have my privilege because. I can be pulled over for a traffic violation or a broken taillight without being shot and killed. Thomas Allen Jr. Andre Larone Murphy Sr. I know I have my privilege because. I can be approached by police for seeming erratic in behavior without being electrocuted by taser. Calvin Reed. I know I have my privilege because. I can play video games with my nephew without being shot and killed in my own home. I talk to Anna Jefferson. I know I have my privilege because. I can feel reasonably safe dying from being put in police physical restraint. Frank Smart. I know I have my privilege because. I can lie down and relax in my own home after a hard day in the EMT without police battering my door and shooting me eight times. Brianna Taylor. I know I have my privilege because. I can safely buy a BB not be shot and killed. John H. Crawford. I know I have my privilege because. I can sell cigarettes without being choked to death. Eric Garner. I know I have my privilege because. I can reach for my wallet when stopped for a traffic violation or broken taillight or asked by the police without being shot and killed or being shot 41 times in front of my Charges were brought. 
the majority of perpetrators were found not guilty. We're changing that now with these actions. Can you say it? White, White silence, silence is violence. violence. We could say Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. So we'll march down to Wiley Street, the corner with the church on it, and we'll turn right, and then we'll turn right again on Madison. That's the one next to the end. We'll come all the way back here, we'll gather 